too many localities have absolutely crossed the line. They really have. And so I have a piece up. If you go to the website, DanaLash.com, I have a piece up there that, that discusses these issues because there's, um, it, well, it gets into civil liberties and the economy as well. And what good are rights if they are predicated upon things that are entirely beyond our control? And that's the question. And, and I quoted that one um, uh, uh, sheriff, but I, and I keep hearing this all the time. Well, we're living in different times. We're living in different times. But that's just the thing because rights are not predicated upon whatever times you're living in. Rights are not predicated upon the times. The change in circumstances doesn't reduce rights to these anachronistic privileges that you can only access if the government grants you permission. I mean, I understand. Look, I get it. We're in the middle of a pandemic. But the biggest struggle for so many Americans, and I write about this on the site, is their ability to trust what is actually reported about this pandemic from a media and from politicians who have burned through voters' trust and valuable time, I might add, in an effort to politicize things to the point of jeopardizing national security. It's a huge issue. I mean, I believe in voluntary social distancing because I believe in voluntary stewardship of my neighbor. Just how I look at it. I don't need a godless government facilitating that feeling for me. People pass the responsibility of stewardship to government because they don't trust themselves to make the necessary decisions to keep themselves and others safe. And apparently also they can't help others unless government coercion is involved. Unless by government co coercion somehow. And this is how you have these billionaires that are on cable news talking about everyone paying their fair share when they themselves cannot be at all prevailed upon to write an additional check to the tr Department of Treasury. So good deeds are justified. These people believe good deeds are justified by whether or not the government makes the decision and does the thinking, right? That's, that's the whole reason behind this newly created think poll where even McDonald's workers are snitching on people now because, oh my gosh, they're from out of, I get it. Look, I, I, and I write about this on the site, people might think this attitude is arrogant and frankly, it better damn ought to be. If there's one thing about which Americans are gratingly and endearingly really arrogant about, it's our freedom, an unchanging constant throughout the generations. Our freedom has withstood wars and economic depression, terror attacks, and even as we wrestle with cronyism, people flock to our soil for health care and to our production studios to make it big in our markets. There has to be a happy balance. Sacrificing freedom for a promise of possible protection is antithetical to the American DNA with which one is born or manifests upon citizenship. As in all things, there must be a compromise of enforcement so as to not compromise liberty. And I shudder to think that out of all the things we have withstood throughout the centuries, that it is a virus that would lead us to forfeit our own rights and withhold questioning government action. And we're witnessing it in some of our friends, just how much government conservatives are comfortable with. So that's the thing. I have more of these headlines to visit, but it's gone too far.